Hi everyone, so I'm with Norman Buckland again and there was a, a very well known story when I was growing up about how when Norman fought four men with hockey sticks and they broke his arm and he beat all four. Now, he's going to tell you the story. Well, I was a bit silly, a bit naive years ago, like obviously if you're seeing the hockey stick go for your head, you put your arm up, but if you don't, you, you duck now, like, you know what I mean? Because I put my arm up and it broke my arm. Four, it was four of them, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I kept on going, like. Uh, there was no, I couldn't get that power behind the arm. It was flicking, like, a little bit, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and obviously it was it was broke, you know what I mean? But I, I didn't feel the pain. Sometimes a nasty side takes over, like a beast in me, like, what I don't like. And I've got rid of that, hopefully, now, like, because once that takes over, like, it, it fucking, it's nasty. It's really not. So really when swear. that beast came out in that fight, you... Because your arm was broken, didn't you have to... How did you win the fight? You bite, bite, you bite, him. anything, anything yeah. to survive. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a chance you could die in a street fight, you know what I mean? And I'm sorry to say that, but it's the way it was, like, with anyone. You know, like I said, when when, when you come front to front with people like Lenny McLean and Roy Shaw and all these top hard men, like, and you got to front them, like, you know what I mean? You can't back off, like, because... Yeah. If you do, they, they won't like you, they won't respect you, won't be in that class. Yeah. And you want to be in that class, you want to show them that, you, you know what I mean? You can stand firm, like, you know? I think the thing with you, you, no matter what pain you were in, you never gave up, did you? You never, no, you never no, stopped no, in a fight. No, because I didn't want to die, like, and I, to me, to lose a fight was like dying, like, you're finished, like. You, and I had children to feed, you know what I mean? I wasn't an educated man, I couldn't go down and do paper rounds. I remember doing a paper round once and I put the, the, the paper in the wrong door and the fucking dog the other side chewed the paper up and she's come out, sorry about your paper and I had to give it to the next door neighbour, next door to her and all the paper was chewed up. So I said to my brother, I said, what do I do with it? He says, just stick it in the door next door. <laughs> and I was useless, I, I was, I was, I was useless. I couldn't get nothing right at all, like. <laughs> I was just, the only thing I could get right is, is going to work on a door is what I still do now in Windsor and uh, now and again you get caught in a fight when it's cross firing like you get a punch or a kick or a, a slap round the face and I, I don't mind you know what I mean can, can I just say you've been doing a door now for well 47 years about 50 years, 50 I've years. Been, but I was telling the bloke I work with a door when I work with he lives over Bedgrove, and I said, I worked there, the Bedgrove Pavilion. I was about 10 or 11 years old. My dad used to run it and have discos on a Friday, so it was more a bit, bit of protection for me and my brother, like. Yeah. But he used to stick us on the door with great big dicky bows, like, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of people can remember that. But full time, the Bucks now go in Owlsbury. I was working out at 14, yeah. and I used to work that by myself, like, you on, know what I mean? On, on your own at 14 years uh, yeah, old? Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you'd get a, a group of boys, like, you know what I mean? And you would get bullied like you tried but being my dad was doing the doors Alfred yeah. Buckland like Alfred Buckland he he was a he was a top hard fella yeah. but he, I was remember, a, I remember he, was, he was a lovely nature he was yeah same as you yeah he that's what I mean there's yeah. no bullying there's no, no troublemaking you don't no. start I, I, I don't I ain't got nothing I love everyone yeah I do honestly love everyone like you know I mean last night at Windsor there was there was trouble right and I was worried when the doorman threw through the boys out that they, they, it's gonna kick off then, like. Yeah. So I got in between the doormen, like, you know what I mean? My, my mates, pushing them back and said, lads, come on, come on, let's keep it down now. What's the problem, like, you know what I mean? And one of the poor travellers had lost his glasses, 500 yeah. pounds worth they were. I said, we'll have to sort, like, go and get his glasses, like, you know what I mean? And they were all right all night, you know? Yeah. A lot of the time, the traveller boys, they're, they're good kids, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they get excited, like, and... Well, you've got travelling family. Yeah, here. yeah, I've got travelling. I, I think, back in, that's uh, probably why I get on with them so well. Yeah. But I get on with the Asians. Yeah. Well, my, my family's yeah, Asian. Yeah, yeah. I get on with them. I love everyone. <laughs> I'd really try hard to get on yeah. with people. And even when I get slapped or kicked or punched in a fight or a lot of rudeness is thrown at me, like, I generally let it go, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they might have come out, their mum, their grandmum might have died, or their, their mum might be ill, like, or their might have had a row with their wife or you know what I mean and sometimes they're the nicest people you could meet in the world but they've had a drink and they've just turned on the night like you know what I mean 
And I, I don't want to fucking hurt someone who, who, who's got a wife and kids at home. Yeah. Even if you get in a fight with them, one of us is going to go to prison. It might be him, like, he might fucking, like, you know, break my jaw or, or break my leg or something, or I might break his leg or something. And we might both end up, and both, when you go to prison, this is what I say to Matt and a lot of the YPs there, it's your family what does the bird. Yeah, your wife that does the bird, your children do the bird, your parents do the bird, like, you know what I mean? We've got it easy, we're only in prison. But really, it's them outside of prison, they've got to do the bird for you, like, you know what I mean? They all suffer, like. And it'd be a little bit of respect here and there, yeah. like, you know what I mean? A little bit of courtesy, like. Yeah, manners. And even if you get you get a lot of abuse, like, just walk away, like, yeah. and say, have a good day. Well you know said, what I mean? Mate. Thank you, mate. Well yeah. said, Norman. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I love you to pieces. <laughs>